Hi, Norman Hallett here with your next four minute drill for traders. In the next few four minute drills, I'll be discussing some of the important points that I learned at a private summit at the Singularity University in Palo Alto, California, and how what I learned applies to you and I as traders. Please recall that Singularity University is likely the world's center for futuristic thinking. Now, in the private 40-person summit that I attended, we interacted with Ray Kurzweil, who was just last month named Director of Engineering at Google and has been called the rightful heir to Thomas Edison. Also, Peter Diamantis, founder of XPRIZE Foundation and co-founder of Singularity University, along with Ray Kurzweil. We, we attendees were there to learn how upcoming technology and technological advances, including biotechnological advances, will affect our businesses and how we could benefit knowing what's evolving in the future. Now, for me, I was especially interested in how this information could give me a heads up, an early look at how I can be an early investor in upcoming technological breakthroughs. Now, since I'm limited to four minutes here in these drills, I won't be giving you this extensive background on future drills, so, and I'll be getting right to the point. Now, for today's meet, I want to make one point. The difference between linear and exponential growth. For linear, think straight addition, like putting $2 a month in your savings account, two, four, six, eight, ten, and after 18 months, you'd have $36 in your account. Now, the chart on this page gives you the steady growth line for linear increases. Now, for exponential growth, think compounding, four, two, eight, 16, 32, doubles each time, 64, where in 18 months, you'd have $262,144 on that same $2 over 18 months. Now Moore's law says technology grows exponentially. So you have to find these breakthrough technologies in the early stages to get full benefit. One thing I want you to notice in this chart, and that in, that's in the beginning stages of the technological development, until the technology gains traction, when all the research is being done and the budgets are tight, in the beginning, and usually it's all negative, the numbers, there can be a lot of disappointment, doubt in the technology. You hear things like, you can't shoot a rocket into outer space, gravity's too much. But there comes a point where the technology takes hold and boom, the capacity of the technology doubles and the cost is halved every 18 months according to Moore's Law. So there you see that exponential line. So to us as investors and traders, we have to start making ourselves aware of upcoming technologies and keeping our ears to the ground on what's going on. I love the site kickstarter.com. Well, we'll be talking more about that site later, but here's a site where new technologies are asking for your support. And there are a lot of sites like this that you probably never heard of. I know I didn't before I went to Singularity. So as disciplined traders and disciplined thinkers, we need to keep an open mind and stay aware of advances. Because if you can catch a winning technology in the early stages, like an Apple at $50, and it was just there three or four or five years ago, you could get the kind of returns that you'll deserve because you did stay on top of things. I know I'm gonna be there. Well, we'll get into more depth in my upcoming four minute drills. I'm just getting you warmed up today. And please let me know that you want me to keep going on these future technological ideas. This is all about me serving you. So leave a comment, let me know. So until next week, stay disciplined.